Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Inkeeper and today I would like to welcome you all back to Stardew Valley, see what the weather's going to be like. It's going to be uh, clear and sunny tomorrow, perfect weather for the Stardew Valley Fair. Why is it that every event in this game has perfect weather conditions for that associated event? Let me guess, in the winter events it always it's always nice and snowy and oh, comfort feelings, all that fun stuff. No! It should be sleet, horrible sleet, thunderstorms, it should be gigantic electric bears running around, destroying, rampaging for everything. Anyway, yes, apparently tomorrow there will be a uh, uh, fair, that's it, in town, in Pelican Town. We'll know that because we have a calendar now that we can just go ahead and check. There we are, fantastic. So we've got the fair, the, the fair, not the fair. Did I give Abigail s I did. I gave her something on my birthday. In fact, I have proof right here in writing. There we go. Right, Stardew Valley Fair. Today, nothing much. It's beginning of the week, Monday the 15th. There was a living off the land right here. Living off the land. Got any tape... <laughs> tapers? <laughs> tapers? I do have tapers, in fact. Cardi forages, blah, blah, blah. You can attach them to wild trees. They will grow maple trees, yield maples. There we go. Fantastic. I'm already aware of this, old man. Can you tell me things that I'm aware of? Good humor today. Great. Okay. I like how I've learned the pronunciation of perturbed. And now, I, they're not giving me an excuse to read it out in such a way. Oh, here we go. Dear Inkeeper, I just want to remind you that Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for, uh, for the... Uh, Grand display. Remember, the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there. No problem, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Don't know why I'm saying buddy there. Let's just grab ourselves some corn. There we are. Fantastic. Quite a lot of it today. In fact, loads. Oh, yes. We need to have a golden axe in order to remove that meteorite, which is something I'm going to aim to do because it is in a rather annoying location that I do wish to use. This is all fine. In fact, I do need to get my watering can. We've got one uh, high quality crop right there. I really do like how we've just moved everything into a much more... Oh, I've already got the water can. Into just a much nicer position. We're, we're also using up some more of the land that is definitely definitely cool to see. Excuse me, you're burping a lot all of a sudden. It's a Sunday afternoon. I've just walked the dog and I thought to myself, yeah, get some recording done. I was going to do it tomorrow, but you know what? Let's do it today. Why the hell not? Just bought us some of these crops right here. Because usually a Sunday is pure day off. But I don't know, I just felt really lazy today. <laughs> so this is a good excuse to play some Stardew Valley, which I wanted to do anyway. And just enjoy enjoy the smooth afternoon. So it's quite nice. It's quite nice, in fact. Although I do feel a little bit... <laughs> it was a very long walk. Much longer than I was expecting. I find you always find... If you're going on walks... I mean, I generally go and look for different areas, depending on the time of day. Uh, let's throw away this watering can. I found this really cool sort of forest area. Huge trees. And they were very, very cool to see. Um, just lost in my train of thought right here. I'm just trying to remember what the layout was for all the items. I think this is the high quality batch it is. So we've got 10 high quality corn right now. Bunch of other items. I, why do I need to keep this? I don't need to do any of this, really. Although I was going to show off the pumpkin. That's the thing. I feel like I should just bring in items that are of gold star and nothing else. And also preferably cultivated. I feel like I would bring the ancient fruit and the... It's a shame it's not a high quality diamond. That is a damn shame. If it was a high quality diamond, then that'd be great. But I don't have any sort of super high quality stuff. I'm not going to bring in the sweet pea for the event. Also, where do I put the beehive in my sorting system? Would I put it in here? Or would I put it in decorative? Because I do like the idea of having a bee area, but it's sort of getting close to winter now. So I won't really be, be able to do too much. I really am just looking for my inventory because I can't remember what my orders were. Right, I'm assuming, just gonna throw it in there. Why not? I guess this is my random dumping chest for now. I'm going to sell the corn. And sort of st still trying to figure out what my system is right here. So the clay goes in here. We'll heat that. We'll eat this just to get it out of the way. Delicious. Now we are a decent amount of energy, and we will find. So the middle one's our food. The sap goes in the foraging one, which I think is this middle one right here. It kind of is. I think that's worthwhile. And that's it. I think we're good to go. <laughs> so just double check our quests. 
So we've got Marnie's request. Uh, she requires a cave carrot. Not something that we've found just yet. But I suppose we can go into the cave and have a look around. I do need to get myself some iron. So I may end up doing that. And I do need 10k in order to buy myself the next upgrade for my pickaxe. Now I have found Linus's basket. I did look it up. Because I'm a cheaty little bugger. So we'll throw those in here. And it's in a very interesting location. I'm not just sure why Linus would have his basket all the way over here. Assuming it is actually over here. And they didn't just change its location. Nope, there it is. Right here. Would have never found it because I never walk out down here. I suppose I'm kind of late because berry, blackberry season is sort of over now. We will ignore it. Those skid marks on the, on the road right there. Looks a little bit dodgy. Let's go to town. Have I ever gone up here? I don't think I have. Okay, okay well, I don't really care about this. It's just the JoJo map. I've never walked up that little bit, though. Which, I felt pretty good about it. A little bit of exploration. I thought I was going to find sort of the Ark of the Covenant or something like that. But it never ended up happening. Damn shame, really. <laughs> Some mohawk birds right there. <laughs> mohawk birds. It's the new band. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. Why is it a high quality bowl? <laughs> what? I feel like keeping this now. <laughs> right, okay. Sorry, Linus. I have to present the high quality bowl to everyone watching. Oh, Linus is going to be so pissed. <laughs> what have you done with my bowl? <laughs> it's too late. I can't help it. I'm pretty sure every item has a chance to, of being a certain quality. And I don't recall the them saying it was going to be a high quality bowl. But too late. It is now. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> it's my bowl, Linus. I don't need a bowl for this. I've got 108 blackberries. Where I'm putting them, I don't know. Probably my shoes. Look, they're all purple. Mush them up, creating some fine stuff with it. So the blackberry bowl can go in there now. I do need some livestock. And I'm still waiting for all of these trees to grow. We do have one of them. Just get rid of this rock in the middle here. There we are. Although this one's not grown at all, which is a little bit interesting. Let's check out the mushrooms. Seems like they're never of a certain quality. They always come out common. What is this mushroom? I'm going to keep that one. Nice and tasty. Will not keep the red one, however. That one's just going to be sold. Same thing with the other one, I believe. Oh, no. That one does give you energy, but not enough to make it worthwhile. So we'll just throw this one in here. We'll keep the purple one on us because it, de it gives us a decent amount of energy. I haven't done too much planning today. Just throw all this in here. Keep the stone. So I think it's just the mine today. I do wish to go into the mine in order to find ourselves the carrot as well as get ourselves some more iron. So we are going to need some of that because I believe that is the resource that we are kind of low on right now. So let's go over to the mines. Let's go over. Uh, let's go down to a decent level. I think it's about 45. Um, perhaps a little bit lower. I took a few more hits than I was anticipating. There we are. I mean, it's a nice way to get stone, but I, I think we have to go a little bit lower to find iron. I have it written down here as well. Where is it? Oh, no, it's 40 plus to get iron. So we just got a bit unlucky here. Well, that's fine. We'll go down. We'll go to 40. About 50. I don't really want to be in the icy area. Okay, we've got a giant vein right there. And uh, this bit. I'm going to grab that copper. Go away, beast! I say beast. My future self. I don't know why my future self. Because he sounds like that. <laughs> so, when he gets defeated. Such a sore loser. There's so much iron in this room. It's great. I think I could probably just go in and out of this one room. And I should be pretty lucky with just finding myself boolean iron. Even though it's not really boolean. But this is for us to make some more sprinklers, because we are going to need that. Oh, I thought I was going to do some sick moves there. Of course, killing bats is still a good thing, because we still need to pass some milestones. In order to collect some rewards for killing some enemies. And we are looking for stone at the same time. Some iron from that, that's nice. We need more stone for our paths. 
There we are. Ow, you bugger, that's cheating. Is that a walkway? See, the game is just teasing me at that point. It's like, oh, you found a super secret area. No, you found lies and deceit. Oh, great. Everyone loves lies and deceit. This music's nice. Very calming. It's definitely the kind of game to play. Ooh. Oh, we need more coal. Oh, but it doesn't. Okay, great. <laughs> more lies and deceit. We've already had enough of that. It's a nice big area. Unfortunately, the big area does not hold any goodies for us. Ooh. Oh, you dropped gold. That's interesting. Ah, here's some more iron. No. You do not swipe the iron as if it were a foe. Yeah, it's some really relaxing... It reminds me of the Minecraft music, oddly enough. Or at least it has the same sort of quite relaxing feel to it. Very chill. Much higher quality, this music, however. The quality is nice, mate, if you understand me. How's my energy doing? Pretty well. Pretty good. Looking forward to uh, finding the uh, sort of new mine, though, to traverse. As it's definitely the part of the game that I prefer, well, enjoy the most. Really? The last one? That is such a joke. <laughs> okay, well that one we found immediately. Not that I'm really traversing through it. I'm just sort of just looking for materials, really. And if anything, that's great for me that it took so long. Oh, we found ourselves some more amethyst right here. There we are. For Abigail to eat. Because that's pretty much what she does. <laughs> she just devours the amethyst. Right before your eyes. Yet to find any cave carrots. More quartz though, which is nice. What time is it right now? 4.50pm. It's not too bad. Still got plenty of chances to find ourselves some cave carrots. But I mean, they don't tend to be too rare. But I would probably increase our chance of finding them in a different level. Do we need any copper? I don't know why these guys keep dropping gold. I don't recall them doing that before. Go down to a slightly lower level. How much iron do we have? 52. That's fantastic. If we go down to 30. Yeah, this is it. There we go. <laughs> wow, that's like everyone's like, innkeeper, are you cheating? A little bit. I'm using my stick strats, mate. I'm pretty sure there is a quest that I still need to finish with these bugs. I have to kill X number of them, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go around and kill a few bugs. I'm pretty sure these give you double. Okay, these ones don't give you much. Let's just go up here. So we've got Marnie's carrots, which is nice, because she does like some carrots. Even though her hair is pretty much just a carrot. But, you know, you didn't hear me say that. And if you did, then watch yourself. <laughs> watch yourself. Get a double stone out of here. Good reason to look around. Nope. 6.50 p.m. Just counting it down. Tomorrow is a very important day. Just a little bit of a... No. <laughs> Fantastic. Get some of these last bits. Say last bits, just more stone, really. Because I feel like I've got not everything that I need, but I've got a decent amount of materials. In fact, I'm mostly worrying about a lack of coal. I suppose I could try and sort of look up all the levels for where you can get to the minecart. I'm also curious, if I go back to the same level again, so let's just go on to the ladder. And what level was it? 50? Okay, yes, yeah, so it is random. I was just curious. More quartz, though. I was just curious how random it was. If it still had the same sort of, oh, yeah, the same amount of iron is always going to spawn, just be randomly plotted around. But no, the game's actually smart, because <laughs> otherwise, that'd be a very easy way to acquire the materials that you desire. Alright, so let's go up to the top. And I think that will be it today. 
Well, not today, but go to the bus stop. 8.40 p.m. So we can get some materials cooked up. We do have some random bits of food that we foraged. Uh, we can go ahead and throw this away. I don't care for the tear. Don't care for the bug meat or the mineral. Gonna throw that away. Throw the stars away. The bats. I think I can make bait with those. I can't remember. I haven't done too much fishing. Oh, the bug meats for bait. Great. Yeah, I haven't done uh, too much fishing. That's just because it's not as interesting to watch. Right, now for the iron. There we go. We do have some coal on us. Still don't notice you need wood in order to make coal. That's not that bad then. Don't need two of them. There we go. We got some of that quartz. We have only two bits of coal left. So definitely making ourselves some more if I can just remember where everything is. Right, here we go. So making some more coal. We do have an extra chest right here if we really need it, but we don't really. How are the resources? So yeah, we just don't have any iron right now. So we'll get three new pieces. Our copper... Wow, I got so much copper. And gold is pretty good right now. And we do have another geode. Should be in here. There we go. Eventually we'll go around and get them sorted out. Stone can be thrown into this chest. We'll keep the wild plum. We'll keep the carrots so that we remember to do that quest. Still haven't eaten the autumn bounties yet. Just haven't needed to. Not too crazy on the food right now. So really, we can throw these away. Because I would like to sort of eat these and make up the use for them. Now at the same time, tomorrow, very important day, so I want to make sure I get all of the items that I really want to bring in. Sort of selected, in case I forget. So the bowl <laughs> is one of them, followed by a pumpkin and a melon. So that's three, we do need nine. Um, I do feel like bringing in some of these items, even though they haven't got stars on them. But at the same time, just a bit weird. Probably won't. I feel like I'm just going to look for items that do have the star on them. The, the quality sign. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, eight. Nine. The coral? High quality coral? I don't really want the coral or the mushroom. And t tell you what, I I'll go back on what I said there. I'll take the uh, angler, because it's a legendary fish, so I feel like the what you'd get out of it is quite high up. And I'll also take the ancient fruit. Now, I won't take the star fruit, because I think the ancient fruit is a bit better. I mean, it's been dormant for eons. Come on, it's ancient fruit. It's amazing. So there we go. We've got, <laughs> got Linus's berry bowl. High quality, let me tell you. There's a really good wood right there, whatever it is. Weave basket. It looks like some sort of clay pot, but there you go. Berry pop clay basket thing. High quality. Pumpkin, melon, quartz, frozen tear, a pepper, a high quality fish, a legendary fish, but not of any certain quality, and a ancient fruit. Do I wish to replace anything? I think the pepper for a diamond. I think that's what I want to do here. Pepper for the diamond. Because it means three of our items are not of any high quality, so it might put us down on the list. But honestly, it's not that much of a big deal, so I'm not going to cry about it. I mean, I might cry about it, but there we are. Anything else we want to do today? Well, we do have a decent amount of energy, so we can just go around and chop down some wood just for the hell of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I look forward to expanding our farm a little bit more. Of course, we are getting closer and closer into the winter season, and I don't really know what to do with that. Or what sort of a good idea and what you can do in the winter. I also need to save up for a horse. So I can get around quickly. But I'm not really doing much walking around at the moment. There we are. I like that picking up picking up noise. It's so satisfying to hear. Something sounded like it just lit some fire or something like that. It was really a disconcerting sound. 
So we're going to chop down all these trees over here just to give us more space. And I definitely feel like the, the best thing to do now is to use up the rest of my money to upgrade my axe so I can get rid of that mine. Or get rid of that meteorite even. Apparently, it's a very, very rare event. Well, not very, very rare, but it's a random event and some people haven't even had it happen to them in like year three and that lot. We're in year one. So we got kind of lucky apparently. I say lucky, it's placement. Actually, no, it's still got lucky because some people have had really horrible placements that have just ruined everything for them. I say everything. There we go, and at the same time, we'll grab the new wood that we've got and put them in here. Probably we'll make one more of them, just because it makes sense, because we're always going to make free coal, and then that will be used for cooking up, wouldn't it? Do some cooking, obviously. Alright, I think that's it. I'm going to throw the iron bars. Come on, you can't get certain quality bars, but then again, that would get in the way after a while. And the different trees saplings we can throw them in there followed by the actual excuse me followed by the actual sap and that is it that's a good use of our day so at the same time that while we're at it let's just go ahead and i haven't really been eating those berries have i i've, have, I've not really been eating those berries there we go say that again the coal was ready there but we'll end up going to sleep so a decent amount of money that's pretty good. Not insane. I mean, we're not in the 10k mark. So it starts at 9. So plenty of time, really. So the weather report today. Cloudy with gusts of wind. And the fortune teller. Mildly perturbed. There we go. Oh yeah, what's in this chest? Ah, oh, right. So it's my decorative items. That's not. That's not too bad then. Okay, so let's grab our resources. Start a nice, beautiful, rather shimmery day today. Look at it, it's very bright. Probably because of all the torches I have around. It's all the smog. <laughs> That's what's going on there. Alright, so we have just enough. I didn't need to put the coal in the same bar there, but oh well. Uh, we will end up making some more coal. Still quite expensive. I really want to plant down some of those trees. They're going to die, though, I imagine. What the hell is that? Oh! Some sort of bug. And I flicked it. Well, I, I didn't even touch it, and it just flew. At about 60 billion miles per hour in some direction. It has probably become me now. And then we'll see a doppelganger of myself in the next few days. So if I sound ever so slightly different, just remember, I've died <laughs> from my doppelganger. Just letting you all know. These are still not producing anything. Not too bad. You know, I, I would like it if it, it did produce something. What's that noise again? It just sounds like something's been set ablaze. It's a really horrible sound. This day should go by fairly quickly, although we are going to go through the fair. And have a little fun time with it. Talk to everyone. You know, what's going on? What's the buzz of the town? <gasps> no, he didn't. There we go. I mean, well, that's how we'll react to every situation. So I sell this corn. If we do not need the corn. We only need the special items that we have on us right now. So I, I'm going to bring in a special item just in case I'm not allowed to put the bowl on there. What would I have? I'd probably bring the star fruit. Yeah, I'd have the star fruit. So let's grab the coal. Throw that in here. And make ourselves some more. At the same time, what I will do is chop down a few more trees. But in this direction. Get rid of this block. Or this boulder. Very satisfying. Oh, there's a tree right there. <laughs> can, I can see it. Right, so it's starting in 20 minutes. 
I don't know where I go, really. I imagine I just sort of exit the farm. Because I think the fair is... The fair has begun in town square. There we go. Hey, how some of it... The, the way the, the noise that... Sort of prompts to indicate that it has fallen in the water is really annoying. Alright, so while we're away, we'll make sure to... Do some cooking. Walter White style. Oh, not enough resources. Okay. I guess that makes sense. It does take up an entire five, doesn't it? I just didn't pay attention. Okay, then. I think that's it. Let's go up here. Oh, yeah. I was going to throw the sap away. Okay, then. I feel like I've got everything. Not necessarily everything, but I've got enough. Okay. Let's go for it. So I imagine as soon as I get into the town square, I should be nice and dandy. Unless I'm not. Then I'd be a very sad panda. Oh, here we go. The shop. Alright then. Trade in your star tokens for prizes. Sure. So we have to earn star tokens, I'm assuming. Sunflower. Fedora? Okay. At least we'll get some sort of headpiece. Rare crow. Star drop. A mysterious fruit that empowers those who eat it. The flavor is like a dream, a powerful personal experience, yet difficult to describe to others. Okay, so LSD. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> I kind of want to go for that fedora. Just because I feel like... Actually, my character probably won't be able to pull it off. Hello, Lewis. So, uh, you're selling LSD now, yeah? Well, innkeeper. Well, innkeeper. I <laughs> what the hell was that? I can't do an old man voice again, I can't remember. It's the big day, our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like a, to participate by setting up a grand display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set everything up so we can get to the judging. It's not really fair. If I'm being compared to this, well, we've got some fishes, you've got some cheese and all that stuff. You're cheating because you buy all your produce. You don't make this, you buy it. You are the worst. Okay. The bowl. The cradle of creation. Everything is inside the bowl. Without the bowl, everything is on the floor. It simulizes structure. I like that. The quartz. The foundation of earth. Underneath its crust, it twinkles in the darkness. I don't know what am I going on about. The pumpkin. Pure horrors await inside the pumpkin. One to demonstrate a spherical object of the other side of the world and something of the opposite, but of the same sphere. I, <laughs> yes, a fish, because why not? To represent the deep, dark ocean, for it is the angler. And then something to represent a nice lake, something far above. Although it doesn't make sense. In fact, this needs to change. And uh, these two need to be on the top. There we go. A diamond to also represent similar things of the quartz. And the ancient fruit symbolizes history and parts that we shall not forget. And then, of course, actually, no, the, the ancient fruit should be at the top. There we go. And then the frozen tear to represent <laughs> sadness. <laughs> That's great. There we go. Why is everyone else so much better at representing it? Me, it's just, okay, square here, square there. Let's just make sure it's a three-by-three three grid, then I might be all right. What else are you selling? Are those worms? Armani. I got your... Oh, bollocks, I can't give it to you. I tried my best, but my display is pretty weak compared to Pierre's. <laughs> I feel like Pierre looks over going, Wee hoo ho ho! Wee wee! Anyway... <laughs> Are you uh, cradling your mustache right now, Pierre? God, look at that smug face. <laughs> my store carries the very finest quality products in the whole valley. Please inspect my grand display closely and see for yourself. You buy it though, you don't make it yourself. Okay, Willie fished all year round for all this stuff. I mean, I got better stuff to be honest with you, but that, it doesn't matter. Okay, Marnie, sh look at that. She works hard to make that cheese. Actually, required effort to get those eggs and to get all the luxury products, artisan goods right here. Okay, if, if care and attention was made for the animals, me. I raided a dungeon and killed the indigenous species of it, stole a bowl <laughs> from miners, and fucking made the ancient fruits of our time. I feel like I did a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, and I got better fish than Willie. I feel like I've already said that. 
Who the hell are you? <laughs> Tourist. Wow. That's the biggest cheese wheel I've ever seen. Very impressive. You, I'm pretty sure you could just eat it and then be resistant to dragon fire damage, I imagine. Willie. Are you setting up a grand display and keep it? It's your chance to show off all the good produce from inns. Yeah. Yeah, it, I am. It's right here, mate. Got better fish than you. Anyway. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> I just... I don't understand. Caroline. Pierre is very serious about his grand display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in re preparation. He's buying it, though. All right, what are you, strong man? Are you strong like me? Smash stone. Strength level, gorilla. <laughs> Great, okay. Oh, damn it, I need to get right at the top. Bulldozer. Oh, it just bounces off at the last moment. Mammoth. Oh, that's weak. Terrible. Okay, there's like a proper point where you can get right at the top here. There we go. Beautiful. Ah! Is that the guy talking? Ah! Now that what I like to see. Here, have a star token. Strong man. Oh, a single token. Okay, I'm pretty sure the LSD cost about a thousand. Two thousand. Wow, that's quite the jump. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, hard to come by in this town. Look at that kid. <laughs> Pure sensei position. Has he sat down that he's got really nubby legs? Hello, miss. Tourist. It was a long bus ride here, but totally worth it. This valley is so beautiful, Simon loves it. Don't you, Simon? Simon! <laughs> I feel like that's what Simon says. Play the slingshot game and win star tokens. Okay. I'm not great with the slingshot. The hell am I? <laughs> oh, do you see that shit? Okay, I'm not doing too badly. Oh, I, I was being cheeky and trying to get the double shot. Oh, no. It's like Gallagher. So what score do I need to get? Is it tell tell you? Okay, that was awful. <laughs> Come on, there was one there. Score 59. Accuracy, 84. 26 out of 30 successful shots. 1.5 times accuracy multiplier. 176, reward. 35 star tokens. God, that is really trippy looking. Wub, 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 wub. Right, there we go. Eh, not too bad, kind of fun. Hello, uh, Abigail. Did you see my uh, fine slingshot abilities? I already beat all the games. Now what? Abigail, lighten up. Alex. <laughs> I played the strength game too many times, and now my arms feel like rubber. Mmm. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Haley right now is just like, fucking Alex, why? <laughs> why are you like this? Have you been to the fortune teller? She set up her stand in the graveyard. Oh, no. I don't have to meet the actual fortune teller now. Oh, I need to see this guy. Tourists. It's a fine looking town you've got here. Nice and cozy and a real sense of community. Oh, is that a camera? I thought it was like a man satchel or something. It's a man satchel. Selling star tokens for just 50... What? You're just selling them? This is pay to win as fuck. <laughs> this has pay to win as hell. Anyway, Benny. I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. Benny, you're just very lucky. I mean, you don't look too satisfied, though. So this is the Wheel of Chance, is it? Set right up, pick a color, color, and place your bet for a chance to double your wager. Okay. Sure. How many star tokens would you like to wager? One. This takes forever. Okay, green. I lost. <laughs> That's a damn shame. Okay, fine. I'll try again. I'll, do, I'll go green this time. And I'll wager five. Oh, no. 
the gambler's mentality begins. First I start to itch, then I can't stop thinking about the wheel. Ha oh, ha 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 ha! You fucker! Right, okay, I mean you efforts. Awful. Right, I go orange. One! Because I don't feel confident. Mm. Look at that McDonald down there. Oh, come on! <laughs> right. I'll go green. All in. <laughs> right. <laughs> All in. It'll be fine, guys! I can do it! We can win this! Right? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! It worked out. I'm done. <laughs> Hello, clown. You know, I really hate a really good clown. I think I missed my calling. You know what, you really do. You do scare me. You know, you throw some Stephen King in there, you'll be great. Hello, Jody. He doesn't look very happy. I guess May Mayor Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. Have you ever heard of a sad clown? No, he doesn't look very happy at all. He'd probably look less happy if I'm just standing in front of him all the time. Yeah, very unhappy. This looks like a bit. Can I do anything around here? Oh, okay. I thought I found the secrets. Just the, just the secrets, full stop. Hello, but Demetrius. Robin really works hard on her carpentry stuff. She deserves a little recognition now and then. What's she making? Leah. I really admire Robin's carpentry skills. I use a lot of the same techniques in my own line of work. I'm sure you do. What is your line of work anyway? Robin. Woodworking is an ancient tradition that I'm very proud to be a part of. Fantastic. We got Clint right here. I complain about my job. Sometimes, <laughs> but I do take pride in my work. These are some of my finest pieces. I hope you like them. I do, they're, they're pretty good. I'm not sure why you have the two copper though. And then just a little bit after that. It seems a bit odd to me, inconsistent. Disgusting display. <laughs> Clint's blades get sharper every year. And so does his wits from horrible customers. Hello, Sebastian. You were... Uh... You got any of that uh, star drop? <laughs> it's kind of hectic today. I'm just going to hang out here for a while. Okay. Are you and Sam friends? Because it just the contrast and the personalities right here feel like they, they would clash. Hey, Cuba, having a good time? Is that it? No, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to respond to you. You're not worth shit. Shane. All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. <laughs> I don't think you should massage them. <laughs> It says no massaging. Do you see the sign? Vincent, moo. Ow. A hen pecked my little finger. Okay, excuse me. I need to speak to the doctor. Hello, Harvey. Once again, barely see you around here. And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, wow. No, he's not. He's not doing anything. He said Linus, right? Hey, Linus, you find my bowl? Oh, no. Didn't find your bowl, Linus. My bad. These animals never judge people by their looks. The same can't be said for humans. Linus, you don't look that bad. I mean, have a little bit of a trim down there. You'll probably look quite handsome. Jesus, man. I mean, you also got to get rid of that leaf costume.